Hello everyone, uh, it's that time of day, it's, it's my lunch break, and my lunch break means another SharePoint video. So, we're going to be going on to our SharePoint Developer Training Course Programming C Sharp 4.0 Lesson 9 uh, Branching Overview. So, today's going to be an interesting lesson because we're not actually going to be doing any programming, we're just going to be talking about what is branching. Now, I did actually open up uh, Lesson 6 because we briefly alluded to uh, something called an if statement in that lesson and that will kind of give us an example to work with. So first things first, let's open up our trusty Microsoft Paint. Yeah, it's one of those days. So anyways, um, why do people call it branching to begin with? Well, let's make a tree. Wait, I need a pencil. Okay, so Here's, here's, here's what we're used to, and this is our tree. We'll do a little bit of grass here. I know, I'm an amazing artist, aren't I? Okay, not really. Okay, so we'll, anyways, here's our start. We'll label it S, and here's our end. Wow, this is, more, this is really more difficult than you'd think it would be. <laughs> anyways, um, so let's just pretend that this is our tree. Or, okay, and this is our program. So, you know, we have a first statement, my int, I'm sorry, int my 5 equals 5. Okay, that's our first one. Uh, my 10 equals 10, second statement. You know, it's just going down, you know, the list. So, it, this fifth one, this console right line, uh, is actually, you know, requires some branching. It's actually called an unconditional branch. Every time we run into this console right line thing, it's going to go ahead and branch out and perform some stuff and come back. So, okay, maybe I'll just connect it to the trunk of the tree. There we go. Look at that. There. Now it's starting to look like a tree. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead. Here's our branch. Now, what happens is, uh, you know, this is our console right line. It's going to go out and do bunch of a bunch of other stuff you know step one step two step three and then it eventually it comes back uh, once once it writes hello to the screen it returns directly here at the uh, the if statement now that if statement was uh, something that we talked about before basically it says you know if it is true do one thing if it's not do another so let's go ahead and draw a little diagram here. You probably have seen these before. Okay. So this will be true. This will be false. Okay. Now what is it saying here? Console right line true. So if this statement is true, it'll go one way and say and print print true to the screen. If it's false, it'll go one the other way and print false, false to the screen. So let's see what this says. Uh, not my false and and true so true and true equals true or false. So true or false, is it true? It is. And if, you d if that confused you, go ahead and review. I think it was lesson six. So this is, this is true here. Now, one thing we can also have is we could have another if statement there if we'd like. So we can have multiple, multiple ifs, lots more logic and eventually you get your tree where you have you know branching here branching here branching here and that is starting to look more like a tree so you know and you go all the way down to the end so so before our tree was kind of like this and now it's starting to look a little more like this with branching so anyways that's actually all for for today's lesson I just wanted to give you an overview of what is branching. We're actually going to go and talk about each specific type of branch um, in uh, the subsequent lesson. So again, thank you for joining me today. It was actually a kind of a fun, fun lesson for me at least. I got to work with MS Paint for the first time in about 100 years. Uh, so everyone have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.